fans. These insects have colonized every continent on Earth except Antarctica and are among one of the most successful animal lineages to ever arise. Their fantastic social structures, unique adaptations, and sheer numbers makes these insects a true force to be reckoned with. However, there's another adaptation that has put ants on the map, and that's venom. Many species use a powerful and potent venomous sting to protect their nests and their brood, and there are some ants that take this to the next level. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my whole life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and most dangerous animals alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most misunderstood or deadly creatures. In today's adventure, I'm headed deep into the deadliest force on Earth in Australia to find the most intimidating ants, bull ants. These ants are equipped with powerful jaws, spectacular eyesight, and powerful venom. But how dangerous are they to humans? Only one way to find out. Now, Australia is known for some of the most deadly animals on Earth. Everything from saltwater crocodiles to toxically venomous snakes call this continent home. But did you know that even the insects are equipped with painful stings? Today, we're going to take a close look at the deadliest ants in Australia and possibly the world, the beautiful genus Myrmecia, otherwise known as bull ants. These ants are restricted to all of Australia and some of the islands that surround this beautiful continent. Now, they are equipped with gigantic, slender jaws and powerful, potent venom that they use to not only procure their prey, but in defense of their lives and their nests as well. So we're going to get up close and personal with some of the most intimidating ants on Earth today. Let's dive in to the deadliest ants on earth, the bull ants. Now, the venom of these ants is no joke. These insects have some of the most potent venoms in the insect world, and that coupled with their numbers makes these ants some of the few insects capable of potentially being able to kill a human being. Their volatile venom and high venom yield means that if you were to receive more than a handful of stings, your body could see some nasty effects. For those who are sensitive or allergic to the venom, severe allergic reactions can easily take place and without immediate medical attention could even lead to death. Let's take a look at what you might be able to expect with the sting of a bull ant. So here we go. Myrmecia pyroformis, one of the most aggressive and venomous ants in the entire world. I'm going to sting myself with it now. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Oh, 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 oh. It's all right. Very timid. Very timid for such a scary, <laughs> scary ant. All right, all right. Get her, get her, get her. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. See, they have very good eyesight, so she's actually tracking my hand right now. Let's get the tweezers out. Come here, dear. Get a little farther down. <laughs> what a massive ant. Oh, you're going to slip off if you go that way. Come here. Ooh. All right. So, there we go. And, oh, quit backing up. Oh man, that is certainly, you can see the stinger is stuck in the skin. Come here. Oh, oh. let's let her sting me again. Come here. Oh, oh. Even worse that time. That is a long stinger. You can see she's still, it's stuck. <laughs> stuck again. Look, you can already see that my arm is actually getting red from the stinger. And my arm is shaking. Yeah, pull yourself out, dear. Look at the size of those mandibles. That is ridiculous. Look, 
check that out. Look at that well. Oh, I have just flicked her off. Come here. Now, bull, bulldog ants have incredibly good eyesight. So it's a little unnerving to let her walk on me because she, unlike the bullet ant um, in our previous episode, um, can see quite well. <laughs> you can't just let them walk onto you uh, because they don't always just see you as uh, like another little branch or something like that. They know that you are something that they'd like to stay. You can check that out. It's already getting red. Certainly very, very painful. Um, it's very sharp pain, very localized. Um, not at all pleasant um, in any way, but um, I'm not gonna cry or anything. Come here. So I'm feeling a little adventurous and I've actually caught another species of bulldog ant and I'm also going to see myself with that. Uh, this is Mermesia uh, gulosa, uh, which is actually a really, really pretty species. Um, red head, red thorax, red petiole, and even half of the abdomen is also red. So very, very bright, um, bright colors. There's some cockatoos over us. That's great. Um, so here we go, round two. I do it because I love you guys. I love you so much. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. So you can see, it's a very, actually, it's a different sting. You can see, oh, there she goes, she pulled it out. Thank you, dear. You can actually see a little bit of venom on the surface of my skin there. And here's the um, pyroformis stings here. They're already welting up as well. <laughs> you can see she's trying to figure out what to do hi really really pretty really gorgeous ants wow okay that actually really hurts now pretty bad <laughs> oh man oh well oh well i don't care it's not that bad it's just a sting it hurts but that's what it's supposed to do we are at five minutes for these stings here. <laughs> they hurt a lot. Um, there's actually a great deal of swelling underneath the skin there. You can see them coming up. Intriguing results. Now, Mermesia are among some of the most primitive ants on Earth and go about their lives in an interesting way compared to other species. They are primarily solitary hunters, leaving the nest to hunt for food alone and returning with individual prey items. Although they are certainly capable of subduing larger prey, this solitary hunting strategy generally means that they're picking on things their own size. They also do not use pheromone trails like many other ant species, again because they do most of their foraging alone. They also rely heavily on eyesight to navigate through their surroundings, and with their large sensitive eyes on either side of their head, they're able to recognize landmarks to orient themselves in regards to their nests. Now, these Mermesia are incredible hunters. They're equipped with large mandibles and huge eyes that allow them to quickly and efficiently locate and subdue prey. These are critical in ecosystems that have plenty of herbivorous insects. Without smaller invertebrate predators, much like the Mermesia, many of these herbivorous insects, like grasshoppers and katydids and stick insects, could potentially overpopulate and become too much of a stressor on the native plants. This is no good for a stable ecosystem, and that's just another reason why even these dangerously venomous ants are super important in their respective ecosystems. You have to have every piece of the puzzle in order to have a healthy ecosystem. Now these ants are truly some of the deadliest ants on earth. In the last 50 years, Mermesia bull ants have killed six people with their stings across Australia and Tasmania. They have an impressive toxicity with their venom, making them among one of the most venomous insects on Earth. And with many species reaching an impressive size, this makes these ants especially dangerous. Of course, these animals do not go out of their way to harm humans, but they are quite defensive of their nests. 
many species nest in inconspicuous holes in the ground that can easily go unnoticed to hikers or other people outdoors. So it's important to take special care to be aware of your surroundings when in the bush of Australia. Now, for me personally, these have got to be some of my favorite insects on Earth, and easily one of my favorite ant genera. If you've been watching the channel long, you know I have a special love for ants. Their social structures, diversity of species, and overall success as a group captivates me in a way that other insects don't quite do. Now, it's easy to overlook a group like ants, but if we stop and take a closer look, there's a vast world just waiting to be observed. Are you a fan of ants? Let me know by commenting your favorite species or a species you'd like to see me film next. Well, my friends, that's all the time we have today looking at some of the most fantastic and dangerous ants on Earth, the bull ants. These are easily some of my favorite insects to encounter in all of the world, but one of my special favorites here in Australia, where the species and individuals are plentiful. So my friends, thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you learned something great from this video. I hope that you loved getting a close look at some of the coolest ants out there, the wonderful bull ants. But uh, that's all I've really got. So remember our lovely insect friends, they help the world go round. They help maintain the health of not just their own respective ecosystems, but in turn, the health of our planet as a whole. They don't have to be your favorite animals. You don't have to love them, but you have to appreciate the roles that they serve and the things that they do to keep us and our planet healthy. So my friends, I'll leave you now. I hope I will see you next week with the next upload, but until then, take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.